I'm kind of really excited about this. I can't believe it. Okay, so I have the book here with me. This book is a New York Times bestseller. What? I'm kind of like, it's unbelievable to me. I'm kind of like still in a state of shock. Um, but I told you guys that I'm going to do this Instagram live and I asked you guys to send me some questions and you all sent me some really amazing questions. So I've picked a few, okay? Some of you I know very well. Some of you are new. Um, okay, so let's do one from... At Jessen Emission. Was it hard for you to be open and vulnerable while writing unfinished? Completely. It was so hard for me to be open and vulnerable for sure because you know I've spent such a long time trying to be a really tough person especially in you know in the entertainment business especially as a girl you're always trying to be you know stronger and it was very difficult to like open up to I don't know whoever ends up reading the book about what my real feelings were especially after training myself for not doing that for such a long time so thank you for that question but it was very hard but I'm glad I did it uh, you know, it was healing. Okay. At National G Ju Ju. <laughs> That's really funny. G Ju with the extra U. Loved what you said about life being like a train journey. Where did that thought come from? You know, I don't know. But I was really thinking about it. You know, we we, we get so pressured into um, and stressed out about like life and what we don't have and what we want and where we want to go. And But at the end of the day, you know, what people around us, they come into our life for a certain point and then they leave, you know, it's just you, your journey, your solitary journey. And I think that, um, I think that's where the thought came from that, you know, we are born alone and we die alone. It's what you do in the middle that really counts, right? Okay. What is my favorite part of the book? This is by Anusha Bansali Dash. Um, the end of the book. I love the way it ends. It makes me very happy to actually have ended on a very important story, which sort of defines how I became who I became. And um, I love the acknowledgements because it includes all the people, most of the people that contributed to my journey. So that's also a good one for me. Um, okay. Hi, everyone. Hi, Jonathan Tucker. I see you. <laughs> Okay. Um, hi, Manisha Joshi. Hi, Priyanka Pandey. Hi, Chandni Motiani. Um, just going to give a few shout outs then. Okay. Next question. How long did it take you to write Unfinished? This is by at Sarah Lise. Okay. It, well, I started writing it about two years ago and then I did not have time to finish it because I was traveling so much that I never ended up like writing really and um, when quarantine happened and I was at home then you know I just started thinking about life and this is basically my quarantine book <laughs> um, okay what is the toughest chapter to write in your book and why did you choose to write it I actually just chose to write about my life I didn't think about it as chapters I just started thinking about them as milestones you know my earliest memories to my last memories um and i think the hardest chapter was grief because it was multiple levels of grief and grief that i hadn't dealt with um i think that was definitely the hardest chapter but it was important because it really is important to my journey um jivanka jivanka tare official okay hi <laughs> um all right let's see what's the next question hmm hi ify oh hi i got your question it's such an interesting question only you could have asked me this do you ever think your life would have been different if you were the youngest child definitely the youngest child get a children the youngest children get away with everything and I had to really work very hard um, within my family because I was one of the oldest. So you younger ones, y'all are get away with everything. 
What inspires you to be inspired every day? This is by Anjua Dua 25. You know, life inspires me. I love people. I love life. I love the fact that this thing, this so-called life is a gift. And I'm just very grateful for it. And I don't take it for granted at all. Um, that's what keeps me inspired. Okay, what did I exclude from Unfinished that I wish you had included? Kitchen cultures. If it's not in the book, it's not for you to know. <laughs> okay. Um, how did you deal with failures? Because it sometimes gets you. How do you overcome that? I think by allowing yourself to feel the failure. I think a lot of us try to, you know, be tough and we're like, okay, I'm just not going to feel this and I'm not going to think about it. But, you know, I think it's really important to actually allow yourself to feel the failure, mourn, and then it goes away after a point. Human beings are very resilient. All right, last question. If you could tell just one thing to a 20-year-old Indian girl set to make it big, what would it be? I would say that you come from a culture which has so much modernity and tradition. Trust yourself, trust your instinct and follow your dreams. That's what I would say. You already have so much. All right, I'm going to see if I can chat with one of you guys. Hold up. Mm. And see what you think. Any of you read the book yet? Text me if you have. Okay. Mm Hi, so much love to Uganda. Hi, Divi. Hi, Krishi. All right. You know, it's been, um, I'm actually filming um, for Citadel at the moment. So I'm like training right now. Um, we're prepping. And um, sorry I had to do this on set, but I mean, in my trailer. But. It's a good thing because I packed up early today. All right, I'm going to answer some questions that I see right now. Um, here you go. Where am I living right now? I am in London at the moment. And I'm going to be here till November. Crazy, huh? <laughs> okay. Um... Why Unfinished? I mean, the name Unfinished. Why did I choose this name? Well, I chose this name because I feel unfinished. And I also think that it's okay to be unfinished. You know, it's okay to leave things behind that don't matter anymore. And just do, you know, what, what makes sense for you. All right, let's see if we can... if we can go live with someone. Let's see. <laughs> this is crazy. Hi, Neha. You want to pick up? There we go. Is it there really nice go. Is it Hello. Hello. <laughs> Namaste ji, aap kaha hai? Aapka signal bada kharaab lag raha hai mujhe. <laughs> mummy. Dek. Mummy ko hello bolo. Hi mummy, hi auntie ji. Mummy. <laughs> Abhi jaldi aao. Uh, Kaisi auntie ji? Itna, itna mat chaliye, aapka internet spotty ho raha hai. शकल दिखाओ मुझे नाम तो बोलो मेरा नाम अरुण है अपना नाम तो बोलो नमस्ते अरुण कहाँ से बात कर रहे हो मैं यहाँ से उदम सिंह नगर बात कर रहा हूँ हाँ उत्तराखंड से अच्छा उत्तराखंड से सब कुछ ठीक ठाक है वहाँ पे अभी हाँ सब ठीक है अच्छा ठीक है काफी लेट लग रहा है वहां पे नमस्ते बोलना मम्मी को अपनी ठीक है 
मम्मी है नमस्ते जी नमस्ते जी कैसी हैं आंटी आप ठीक है हम बढ़िया आप सुनाओ मैं बस अरे आप... है, मैंने सोचा आज बात कर लू आप लोगों से <laughs> आपसे बात कर गया बड़ा खुश हो गया दिल <laughs> चलिए अच्छा आपने ख्याल रखिएगा सब वहाँ पे ठंड हो रही होगी अभी हाँ जी अभी ठंड है यहाँ पे बहुत हम्म हाँ लग तो रहा है मुझे वह थोड़ा सा गर्मी में रहिएगा मेरी तरफ से बहुत सारा प्यार हाँ जी आपको भी <laughs> ख्याल रखिए आप हम आपको हाँ जी ठीक है थैंक यू मजदूर आदमी है हाँ खया ठीक बाय people up in bed <laughs> it's so bad uh hi lina who's this it seems to be connecting hello hi hello cannot see you lina show me show me your face put the camera down <laughs> hi do you want to talk to me <laughs> put the camera down hi what's your name <laughs> tell me tell me your name Huh? I mean, your ceiling is really pretty, but I'd rather see your pretty face. Hello. Hi. Did I catch you at the wrong time? Oh no. Can you hear me, Lena? Have I lost you? I think I'm I can see her eye, eyebrow, and I see the face and then it's gone again. And <laughs> All right, I'm not going to embarrass you anymore. I just wanted to say hi. I hope you're okay. Hello, I see some other people. I cannot hear you. Oh no, I think I lost her. I okay. One last one. Let's try it. Let's see. I saw my friend Tamanna on this as well. See if we can get her. She did say hi. And I see Hi Manish, hi Yogesh, hi Rocky. Amisha. <laughs> oh god, wait, I had one more question while I'm waiting. Um Did you keep diaries or notes what helped you formulate your book you know so i did keep um i tried to write with a pen i tried to i i think faster than i can type i'm a very slow typer so then i started recording my voice um i saw it in beyonce's um lemonade and i was like oh that's a great idea to record yourself so i did and uh, then i started transcribing my thoughts and that made it so much easier 
Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Let me see if. Let's see who's available. Okay, see. Um, let's try one. All right, abhi kiska number aayega? Have to see that phone oh, name. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Like as soon as I go to a name, some other name, some other name pops up. Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Let's. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, I think I know some of you guys' names. I'm trying to keep some moving. Okay. Let's try Sisjo. Oh, Sisjo declined. Didn't want to be on camera, huh? Okay, well, like anyway, I've talked with you guys so much. I think I have to start going to my car, but. Come with me. Um, some people are asking a bunch of questions about. Sorry, it's really cold outside. So I'm gonna try and wear my jacket and head out. So some people are asking me why I decided to write the book. You know, I always wanted to, and then it just felt like it seems like the right time, um, and it kind of did. This is where I'm shooting. These are all our trailers. Um, where all the work is going on. It's a beautiful sunny day today. Look, the sky is blue. Um, but thank you guys for taking the time to chat with me about the book. I'm gonna try doing this more. I have time where I hang around a lot, so <laughs> I might try and do in between stunts. So I'll do that. Um, thank you so much for taking time to chat with me. And um, you know what? It's been a good run. I want to say thank you to everybody who took the time to buy my book, to get the book, um, and give it so much love. Thank you for taking me to the New York Times bestseller. I never thought I would add that <laughs> to the things that I do, but you know what? I did. Thank you all for all the love, the support that you've always given me. Um, it really is the wind beneath my wings. Okay. I'm gonna go. Good to go, Wayne. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>